Hey, this is Ish, and in this video, I'm going to do my best to help you get started in Adobe Premiere Elements by showing you how to trim, split, and move clips. I'm going to start by going to Guided Mode, because in Guided Mode, they have the trim and split clips. So let's walk through that real quick, and then I'll show you some other details of how to trim, split, and move clips. So I'm going to select that. It's telling me now to click to add media to add a video clip. I'm going to select Add Media. I'm going to go from me to files and folders. So I brought the file in and it says the clip you added is stored in the project assets bin. Drag and drop the clip to video one track on the timeline. So I'm going to select the clip. I'm going to drag it down to the video one timeline. While you are creating your movie, there will likely be sections of your video clips that you would rather delete. The guided edit will show you how to remove these unwanted sections from your video clips. In guided mode, they already adjusted the size of the clip for me. So you can trim the frames from the beginning or the end of the video clip. To trim from the beginning, click on the left edge of your clip. It's giving me right there the left clip and drag it to the right. In the monitor, you will be able to see the frame you are trimming. This is the mouse pointer has changed. This is if you want to adjust the size of the video one, the length of this. This is the trim icon. So I'm going to select the trim. I'm going to drag it. You can see the clip trimming. And what it does is it actually pulls the clip forward. It says to trim from the end of the clip, click on the right edge of your clip and drag to the left. So I'm going to select it here and I'm going to drag it to the left to trim. In the monitor, you will see the frame you're trimming. So as you can see, you can see it right there in the monitor as I'm trimming it down. You can also trim frames from the middle of a video. To do so, you will need to split the clip into parts and remove the undesirable part. Move the playhead to the beginning of the unwanted section of the video. Click the scissors icon right here to split the video clip and do the same thing to identify the end of the unwanted scene. So I'm going to select it. So now I've split this into two separate clips. As you can see here, now I can trim this section down or I can trim this section this way and then you're done. So to summarize, trim means to shorten the clip. You can do that from the beginning or the end. Split means to keep both parts at the cut. So as you can see, I cut it here and now I'm keeping both parts. So I brought in a separate clip so you could see the difference. So if I do trim now, what you're going to see is on the left side, I'm trimming the clip. So you can basically, I can determine where exactly I want this clip to end. And then what's on the right side is showing the first frame of the next clip. So if I select that, that's where the clip's going to end and it's going to transition to this scene. So this is on the left of DC, on the right is Philly. So then if I come to the Philadelphia clip and I drag it, what you see is I can select where I want this clip to start. And it's showing me the last frame of the clip in front of it. So I could drag this all the way down and pick exactly where I want this clip to start. So see, I wanted it right here. Boom. And then automatically as I trim it, you see, as I trim down, it's going to close that gap in between the two clips. There are shortcuts that make it easy for you. So some of the main shortcuts that I use is control K. So control K will split the clip for you. The other one is copy, which is control C. So I can select control C on the keyboard and I'm going to move the playhead to where I want to insert the clip. And then I'm going to select control V to paste it. Now let's say I want to move this clip further down in the timeline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select control X to cut it. I'm going to move the playhead down here then I'm going to select control V. So as you can see, it pasted it in right there. And then what happens is the playhead then moves to the end of the clip. Another important one to know is control Z, which is to undo. If you have multiple clips here, so if I want to close this gap, I'm going to select it. I'm going to select delete and close gap. So that will close the gap between the two clips. So let's say again, if I split these two clips, control K and now let's say I wanted to delete this section. So there's two options, right? I can just select delete and what delete does is it leaves the gap in place in case I want to fill it with something else. I'm going to do edit undo. So now let's say I select delete and close gap. So now what it does is delete and then it shifts everything forward to close that gap in between. So let me go back, let me undo. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drag in a music clip. All right, so what I've done is I actually have a music 
clip down here. So if you look down on this track, I actually have a music track. I'm going to show the split again. So I'm going to do control K. So if you notice control K only cut the clip on the top line. But now say, for example, I have audio there. I'm going to, instead of it being on a music track, I'm going to select it. It's going to be on the audio track. So now I'm going to select, move it down. I'm going to select control K. And what you notice is it automatically clipped both the video and the audio track. I'm going to do undo. Thing to note is if you have something on the audio track and you select control K, it's going to cut both. If you have it, something on the music track, for example, it will not cut it. So I'm bringing this same song just to demonstrate. So I have something on the audio track. I have something now on the voice track and then I have the same clips, but just using this as an example, I have something on the audio, voice and music track. Do is I'm going to select, I move the playhead here. So I'm going to select control K only on the audio track was the clip split. So the voice track stayed the same. The music track stayed the same. So only what was on the audio and video tracks were selected. So if I wanted to let me move the playhead back, it's automatically snapped. So say if I wanted to clip the voice track, I would have to select it and then clip it. Same thing with the music, select it and then clip it if I wanted to clip it. Or if I wanted to, let me do control Z, which again is undo, control Z. So I'm undoing all of what I just previously did. So now let's say I wanted to do all four. Then I would just highlight all four. I can drag a box on them or I can just do control A. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip it. So now what you see, it's clipped all four of the tracks. I want to delete this section here. I want to delete this section. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these back. So I want to delete this section. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select delete. Delete, nothing moved, right? I had the audio head here, nothing moved. So now I'm going to select delete though and close gap. So you notice everything shifted up, but what you notice is that this clip didn't completely close gap. What it did is it closed the smallest gap. So let me again, let me do control Z. This here, this gap is actually smaller than this gap. So when you select delete and close gap, it's going to just close that gap. So this gap would still be here. So if you wanted to close this gap as well, it's not going to give you the delete and close gap. What you'd have to do is just drag it over. Both of these clips have an audio file attached to them. And then I have, I have a music and a voice track. They're the same for this example. What I'm going to show you is say, for example, I bring this clip into the file. What you see is when I fit it back in, what's happened is it's taken up all of this space. It's cut the voice and the music track. It left the audio file alone. It just that audio files attached to the video and it pushed it back undo control Z so what you want to do usually if you don't want to split or mess up your voice and music file is that you want to select the video clip and instead of dragging it down here you want to drag it here and what it's going to give you is it's going to give you these different options you're going to get insert after the scene split and insert place on top picture and picture place on top and apply video merge or replace clip so what i want to do is i want to say insert after this scene the voice and the music track were left untouched the clip after it was pushed back so say for example i wanted to split the clip i can drag it there I can say split and insert. So as you can see, it split the clip and it inserted right at that point that I wanted it. Another way is to place on top. So what it's going to do is you're telling it you don't want it to split and you don't want it to insert. You want it to put it on the track above it. So instead of it being on video one, it's going to be on video two. That's an easy way to make sure that the clip gets right to the point that you want and then it can overlay on the clip on top. Another option is picture in picture. And that applies the picture right on top. If you wanted to do like a reaction video or a pip, that's an easy way to do it and an option right there. And then it gives you the other options 
to replace a clip, place on top and apply video merge. So those are easy ways to be able to move a clip. The last thing I want to show is another way to trim this clip. You can select the clip and then what opens up is a preview window. So in this preview window, say if I didn't wanna use that window and I just wanna be able to bring this clip in, I wanna focus on this by itself and I wanna trim the clip. If you look over here, this gives you the ability to adjust where the clip is. So I'm seeing the entire clip and I say, I'm watching it. I can move the playhead. I can say, you know what? You know what, this, this is the clip, the portion of the clip that I want. I can stop it right there. As you can see in the timeline, the length of the clip adjusted. So this might be an easier way or more ideal way. As you can see the length of the clip adjusted back for you to just adjust the clip and preview it without using the main monitor. All right, you know what? That's the right size that I want. You close the dialog box, you scroll down. You know what? I want to drag it right in there. So that's another way to just be able to use the trim features. If you're new to my channel though, it's focused on travel experiences and fun. One of the experiences I share on my channel is my experience editing and creating videos for YouTube. I specifically use this software, Adobe Premiere Elements for all my video editing. If you wanna learn the basics and some cool tricks, I recommend you hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you never miss a video. And if you check out right there on the screen, I have the Adobe Premiere Elements playlist, which can contains all of my Adobe Premiere Elements videos and I recommend you check out that next video located there on the screen. My name's Ish and I challenge you to go out there and have a new experience today.